Drain eye on a chicken. I always find that funny for some reason. Blade of the Poisoned Mind. Near a cave entrance, hidden behind a bush. Alright, let's have a look. I swear I've seen, heard of that weapon before. Maybe I already got it. Still, I'll show you the general locale of it. Here it's in a bush. It's very easy to see. And the weapon you get is a one-handed sword that, well, it does a thousand damage a, a, a second, on average, it says. But it's, it seems to be a caster weapon. It gives you 512 stamina, 341 int, 178 critical strike, 256 mastery with 4,561 spell power. Uh, Lucid am Amulet of the Agile Mind. What names they put on these? Sits on the ground between by a formation of five rocks. Oh, that was easy enough. Uh, 6666. 6, 6, 6. <gasps> uh, apparently. Ah, never mind. Um, 666 6, 6, stamina, 444 4, 4, int, 330 mastery, 239 haste. Uh, a caster one. Um, I suppose maybe a. Uh, could be used by a healer or. Anyone else, but um, the healer or a damage one, though I don't think the healer will get much use out of mastery. I, I have no idea where this NPC spawns. 39. Oh. It just says where it, uh, it triggered when ice found it. Okay. So now. Wait. I don't give a damn. Because it's kind of strange. There's a level 20, uh, 85 here. Sticks out of a tree next to a rock. Here it is. Finders keepers. Find five hidden treasures and you get this. Firstly a cool pole arm. Uh, 797 agility, 1195 stamina, 531 mastery and 531 haste. Now we head to a sitting on the little rocky cliff. Uh, it's up. It's down here. Uh, might as well go get it. According to this, it only takes me just a, a minute to go, go there now. I suppose they do go pretty fast, and I'm flying, so ground does ground terrain doesn't matter. Though it ends up feeling like you're not going that fast, even though you are. I don't know why, it's just the flying in this game just doesn't ever seem that like you're going fast for me. Maybe it's because I can't have the view distance up high. If I could, then it, I, it, it would feel like you're going faster. Still. 
Uh, may have to make more than one session of this. Here it is. Just waiting here. Nice in the open. Uh, 1,195 stamina, 708, 797 int, 531 critical strike, 531 mastery, 4,563 spell power. Apparently the, you know, the ones in green will be different each time, uh, within a certain range. Uh, but everything else will be the same, apparently, I, I, I think, uh, who knows, maybe it's different, but that's, well, that's the one I got, but it'll be eight, level 86. So it'll be a very nice weapon to have on, on your characters, that use, that's low level and uses staves. Staves. Whatever you want, to, however you want to pronounce it. Isn't stave something in music? Possibly. I had to do a compulsory music class in first year. Um, we didn't do much. I don't mean to say that I skipped. In, in, in case it may sound like that, just teacher, I don't remember being on much. Um, I was terrible at attendance, didn't really like school. Um, or in particular, that school. Most of the staff and students were assholes. Um, but even when I was there, I don't remember really doing it much. Then the teacher had a lot of other stuff going on, like she taught uh, uh, non-compulsory music, you know, practicals and all that, so people went and she had to go, go away and whatnot. But I think that's the one thing I remember from it. Let's try it again. Let's try another one. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Oh, cool, that's an, an altered skull there. No, I don't need to kill him. He's killed. I killed him previously. You can live for now. Unless someone else comes along to kill you. Then, in which case, you'll probably just die. Uh, oh, it's... Is it just sitting on the ground? Here it is. It's just this blob over here. Um, uh, amber and case moth. It appears to be perfectly preserved in amber. A hundred and five gold. Hardened staff of Kervis, sitting on the ground at one of many locations. So you just come up here and find hardened staff. You go to any of these locations. Some of these aren't, like I said previously, aren't always spawned, so be patient with it. If you can, you may want to put view settings and all that up, It'll, it may help you to some degree. And the distance at which things spawn in, um, probably help you somewhat.
Oh, here it is. This. Okay, I'm just gonna kill you. This is what it looks like. Kind of like a shield almost. Uh, Bounty Pandaria, find 10 treasures. It's 110 gold. It can spawn anywhere around here. I think I have to head for the mod to work. I think I may need to head to the, all of them. It, it will only take a moment. They're pretty clustered together. And now I, I'm not searching, so they'll just... Um, Disappear pretty quickly. And you can, as far as I know. Okay, I need to kill this guy. Let me show you what this guy's like. When it comes to eat to each race of enemy, they all have a similar tactic and uh, type. Like, the casters will fight a certain way, the melees will fight another. Um, let's see if I can pull this guy separately. Yeah, they don't help each other. Or at least this guy will be pulled in a second. Like, you remember the guy earlier who was asleep. He took a moment to notice, oh, my comrades are being killed quite loudly. This guy doesn't give a damn. This guy wouldn't pay up five bucks, I guess, that he owed him. Or maybe he slept with his sister. I like coming up with reasons. Oh, uh, it seems to be a caster. Don't be misled by... Uh, name them being called rares and not rare elites or anything. These are as difficult as many an elite in the game. Um, let's keep these over here so I'm ready to interrupt if needed. Void cloud just needs to be avoided. I suppose you could interrupt Shadow Bolt, or you can just tank it. It it doesn't really do that much damage, though. Of course, if you don't really have that many heals, like I've got the seal, so every time I do damage, I have a chance of healing for six k. Oh, huh? The void. I'm not exactly sure what it does. It's in, I don't know if it does upward damage, but it seemed to make my character, like, have the fear effect on me. I may jump in one before, uh, I... So yeah, that's how this boss fights. Uh, sh shadow damage and... Okay. Y yeah, just get out of those. It's basically stay out of the fire, pretty much. Once you learn their dances, they're not that hard to defeat. The monks, they're still pretty awkward. Just I don't have enough stones. And I question and on on foot, I don't think I move fast enough. They have a spinning kick, it does a fuck ton of damage. Okay. Yongo Fire Carrier just sitting on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna adjust a mod. Uh, Silver Dragon, Scanning, Interville. Just say one. Okay, 1.1. I could give it down. Let's go to this fire carrier. What did I get? Uh, oh, a 
melee DPS. I mean, it doesn't measure up to what I've got, but I've got all purples. No, you know, recent purples. Not running around wearing Burning Crusade stuff. That would be funny. Don't see the fire carrier here, so it's not here, I guess. Uh, just keep searching. There's another one, another spawn point over. Did I see a glitter? Huh, thought I saw a glitter from here. Ah, oh, he's just playing tricks on me, I guess. I'll be honest, I don't see it, but apparently it spawns here or at the other tent. Uh, abandoned crate of goods inside of small tent. Ooh, another rare. Do I need to kill you? Yes. Well, okay, I don't need to kill any of these guys, but for the achievement, I do. And I'm technically helping you with the achievement as well. As well, now, upon watching this, you now got a better idea of how to fight them. I'm out of range. It's too far away. Good. Hold you on your own. Who are you back over? Okay. Move away from that, otherwise you'll take a fuck ton of damage. It's like a truck. I suppose you can stun him out of it, but if, like, if you notice too late, feel free to stun him out of it. Titanic Strength, summon Quailin. Just summons a bit of help, I guess. It doesn't seem too dangerous. Seems like the best idea is just to keep, start killing him quickly. The quicker the enemy goes down, the better. Because, well, firstly he's damn enraging as time goes on. And the longer it goes on, the more likely you are to slip off. What would what avoiding those arcs? If you've got a fair bit of health, I doubt it'll kill you straight off the bat. But still, um, it, it, it you know just it may make it what more likely for you to die. Like it might kill you, but then his next melee attack will. Uh, Shaman's amulet to, to caster, healer, no uh, DPS. You mightn't actually wait the blade, huh? Oh Christ! I gotta fight you to get into the tent, and the items in there. Oh asshole! Okay, yeah. Uh, armor reduced by 5 for 20 seconds. Okay, I was thinking, by 5 points? Uh, uh, okay. No, 5%. It's not really that big of a deal. This enemy is nearly as powerful as I thought they would be. It's just like, oh god, they got over its health. They got this much chip points. You know, you think they're gonna be dangerous. Not at all. But they provide no loot. They are important to some quest, though. 